Jailers at the Nueces County Jail and Courthouse are not in compliance, and that's according to an inspection by the Texas Department of Licensing Regulation. Yes, yeah, Six Investigates first brought you this exclusive story two weeks ago and has now received new documents. We have Brian Hoffman. He joins us live outside the county courthouse with more. Brian, what are some of the big safety issues they're facing there? Michelle uh, Taylor, uh, basically these boilers inside the county courthouse feeding on into the jail and it did cost taxpayers $2.1 million are operating outside of what the manufacturers recommend and what they say is really their guidelines. Now the problem is that they may not be able to handle the pressure that they're supposed to. That could lead to major damage, including burst pipes. Now that is the primary concern in this documentation by the Texas Department of Life licensing and regulation inspection unit. Now they do say uh, that the boilers are quote unsafe for operation end quote. Now, last week, Nueces County commissioners were assured by ABM Building Services, that's the contractor responsible for the project, that the boilers were safe. Additional documents obtained by six investigates highlight several required tests were not conducted before they were started up, which calls into question the integrity of the pipes. Also at issue is why ABM bought that particular boiler system, which did not match specifications provided by the engineer on project. Now, the county commissioners are still reviewing these documents. We just got a hand on them today. We also tried to reach out to the county engineer, Juan Pimentel. He was unable to comment quite yet as again, they're still reviewing those documents, but I will be following up with both the commissioners and Pimentel as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be sure to give you the latest for six investigates. Brian Hoffman, Taylor, Michelle. All right.